Now in this video, I'm just going to give an overview of the non-business expense receipts record. So for those that have a sole trading account and they also have personal expenses, this would include non-dental expenses, um, medical expenses, other health expenses that could incorporate um, medication, um, visiting a GP and paying for it privately, um, remote broadband, that's a very big one, and uh, the total utility, medical expenses if paid by insurance. Again, this is non-relevant really because there is no tax liability if you're paying for medical, private medical insurance in Ireland in 2024. Uh, so basically, again, it's just simply a record. So anytime you have an expense, you just put in the date, put in the amount, and then choose from the drop-down list in terms of uh, the type of expense is it a non-dental routine and these again are linked into revenue now if i go up here up to the top right hand corner this is just a, a brief guidance on where what you choose in terms of the options in the receipts tracker of revenue online in ireland so if i go in here to revenue online let me just jump back just to start that again. So I've logged in. Let me just go back again there. I've logged into my revenue online service and then I go down to receipts tracker and then I press add receipt. So as soon as I get a receipt, I add it and then I go into um, putting in the date and category. So if I choose, uh, okay, remote working, so that wouldn't that you have uh, you can claim back tax in relation to heating, um, mobile broadband, and so you just choose that option if that is the case, and then you choose either broadband or heating and electricity. Now in terms of a technique, I do not submit these until the January after the year of submitting for form 11. Well, just to make that more simple, I submit it at the end of the year. So I collect all of my broadband receipts and I put them in and then I collect all my heating receipts. So in terms of collecting all the broadband, etc., I put them in and then I choose in the drop down list, the total. I just choose broadband total. Um, and so that is that. What else? Tuition fees, if I've paid for any tuition fees privately. Medical expenses, as I've said, if it is for um, prescriptions, GP visits that you're paying for privately, and so on and so forth. So this receipt tracker then will make it much easier. Now, I would strongly advise that you upload as you progress to Revenue Online, as I said here in this ROS, Upload and include the receipt. So put in the time, put in the amount. Sixty point zero. Uh, so the total of the bill. Let's assume for the broadband, and then the total amount paid, and then very importantly, upload your copy of your bill to the cloud. Then your your hunky dory, as they say. Now let me go back. Uh, so that's the receipts tracker and as I said it's the same principle in relation to the other video that I've showed you if you are a sole trader the very same principle but in a lot of instances you would do this at the end of the year um, apart from medical expenses which we could do or tuition expenses the remote and broadband as I said I don't want to emphasize this too much uh, it would be advisable to do at the end of the year to collect all of your uh, expenses um and that is basically it so again a very good way to reduce down your overall expenses since i've incorporated this methodology and this um this uh, way of uh, filing my returns i have reduced my tax liability significantly from approximately 50 to 60 percent down to 20 percent uh using this method I'm going to leave a link for this particular 
um, spreadsheet on the descriptor of the YouTube channel. And as I said, it's my own. I've derived it myself. But basically, as soon as I put in all of the, as soon as I enter an entry into the, the amount, this section gets automatically updated. And you can simply take these and put them into your, um, well, you can simply compare them to what you have entered into, say, if you're a sole trader, the Ross, the Form 11 account. And if you're not, you can put them into my account. Um, so they should balance. In other words, every t at the end of the year, they should balance with what you have up uploaded and what is here. And as I said, it's not too complex. It just requires some degree of uh, analytical skills, but uh, not to the level of being an expert accountant. So that is the end of this video in showing you how to submit your non-business expense receipts, most notably medical and uh, broadband, remote work, etc. And that is the end of this video and thank you for watching.